Welcome to another episode of Cooking for Wellness at NYU Langone Health. February is American Heart Month, and we are joined by a very special guest, cardiologist and chief of medicine at NYU Langone Health, Dr. Adriana Quinones Camacho. Dr. Quinones Camacho, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Jeff. Today we're making one of our patient favorites, pan-seared salmon with salsa verde. This is a heart-healthy recipe that many patients enjoy. Salmon is high in lean protein and omega-3 fatty acids and is a very forgiving fish to prepare. It has firm flesh and rich natural oils, so it, it's highly versatile, unlike some other more flaky and delicate options. Let's get started. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our salsa verde. We're cooking for patients, so we're constantly being challenged to limit sodium and fat, and I mean, one of the, the greatest allies we have is fresh herbs. We're going to combine some fresh parsley, some fresh garlic, some shallots, fresh tarragon, I had some capers. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of champagne vinegar, some fresh black pepper, and just a tiny bit of salt. And then we're gonna go ahead and blend that. So as we blend, we're just gonna slowly drizzle in the olive oil to do it nice and slow. So I wanna talk about heart disease and, you know, who is at most risk of developing heart disease? We are all at risk for heart disease and a very important thing to understand is what our risk factors are and that includes knowing your numbers, knowing your blood pressure, knowing your cholesterol, knowing whether or not you have diabetes and also knowing your family history. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 degrees and we're going to roast some sweet potato fries. So we just, we take the sweet potato, we cut it lengthwise into quarters, just toss it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper and roast um, usually about 30, 35 minutes. So Dr. Quinones Camacho, what dietary choices can I make to reduce the risk of heart disease? That's such an important question, Jeff. I think there's a lot of dietary changes that we can all make to, to improve our heart health. I like to keep it simple with three quick pointers. More fruits and vegetables, less salt and saturated fats, and more lean protein and whole grains. When you say saturated fats, those are? Like bacon, butter, animal fats. More animal like. fats mm -hmm. right. Salmon, as you know, as I think you know, has a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, which are good fats. So we want to eat more of those, like we see in salmon and, and nuts and, and, and things of that sort. Interesting. Let's get started on our fish. So we have a nice thick bottom pan. We're putting this to say about a medium, low to medium heat. We're gonna take just a little bit of salt and pepper and go ahead and season the top of the fish. So Cooking salmon, since it's got so much natural oil, like literally very little oil in the pan and still be successful. A lot of people are gonna use a nonstick pan for cooking fish. It's not necessary. What is necessary is make sure you heat the pan up. Make sure the oil is, you know, you can see it actually start to sheet. We're gonna go ahead and add that down. So it's gonna take about three, four minutes on each side. Very important not to rush you end up breaking the fish when you rush it, essentially. You gotta let it release itself. So we're gonna just let it, let it cook. So Dr. Quinones, I wanna talk about cholesterol. Can we talk about the link between cholesterol and heart disease? Absolutely. So cholesterol is like a waxy substance that we all need it. It helps build our cells, our hormones. The problem we get in, with cholesterol is when we have too much of it, it can start to build up in the arteries and that's what eventually leads to blockages and eventually can lead to heart attacks and strokes. So how would this dish we're cooking today benefit your cholesterol? So that's a great question. And salmon has omega-3 fatty acids, which are really good healthy fats that can help really the balance between your good cholesterol and your bad cholesterol. See how it's freed and not stuck to the bottom? Yep, oh right. Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and add some thyme sprigs to the pan. Just gotta be a little bit careful because they will spurt a little bit. So Jeff, how do you know when they're cooked? For me, I usually actually just use touch. For somebody that's not used to cooking fish, actually like a bamboo skewer or like a metal skewer, even a fork, you can actually just see as it enters and leaves just a bit. You can see how it just pulled back a little bit, but it's just very close to being done. You can see that's finished. Once it goes in and out easy, it's done. Okay, so our salmon is literally just about ready to go. 
We finish it off with a little bit of lemon, let that caramelize in the pan while the heat is off so it doesn't spatter. So talk a little bit, a bit about this salsa verde, really bright, herbal, acidic, kind of delicious condiment without the intense amount of added sodium and sugar that you find in store-bought, especially like shelf-stable condiments. So our sweet potatoes are ready to go. Our fish is good. We are ready to plate. Okay, we got a couple of nice pieces of fish. Beautiful. Dr. Quinones, what is your last piece of advice for our viewers on nutrition for heart health? I think one key point is for those planning on choosing to make healthier meal choices in 2022, take it easy, slow, sustainable changes are way better than fast changes that you can't maintain. It's sure. really a marathon. Our health is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So really doing this small changes that can make a big impact. Mm -hmm. Dr. Quinones, thank you so much for coming by and spending time with us. Thank you so much for having me, it was my pleasure. Please join us again for more episodes.